Hello there, my beautiful Scorpio friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. I'm going to pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. And at the end of this reading, Scorpio, I'm going to pull an additional bonus card, including an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for that, my friends. All right, we are starting here with the Nine of Materials. All of your hard work, Scorpio, is going to pay off. I feel for a lot of you, you're juggling many things. It's time to kind of organize this chaos. Put some structure to this chaos as you're going through all of this motion, all of this movement, all of these things that are coming in. And what I'm seeing here with this card is look at all of these beautiful roses. This is you reaping the rewards of your hard work. So those of you that are out there right now wondering, waiting for things to happen, know that all of your hard work is not going unnoticed. The universe is seeing things happening. It's working in the background and know things are going to happen for you. Okay? And we've got the Hanged Muse. This is the Hangman card. Spirit Guides are really wanting you to focus in on looking at things a little bit differently. Um, really finding a positive lens, especially those of you that are kind of in a place right now where you're working towards your goals. You're putting a lot of effort and hard work in, but you almost have this like... Um, negative focus somewhere. I, I don't know where this is, but I'm seeing some of you kind of having doubt somewhere in the back of your mind. They're really wanting you to look at this and shift that perception. Okay. And we're getting the moon. There's some mystery. There's some magic in your life. There's some answers you're looking for. There's something there that you're wanting to seek out. Whatever this is, is it is going to come into light here for you, Scorpio. So get ready for this beautiful energy. So, you know what else I'm getting with the moon card is spirit guides really want you to incorporate some sort of a ritual in, a ritual into your day-to-day -day routine. Whatever that is, something specific to you, something that you create on your own that brings you to a place of grounding. It's almost like a meditation. Uh, I have a ritual at night, which I do, and I like to meditate while I'm taking a shower. And as I shower, I get lots of intuitive downloads and I get all of these ideas. And, and that's my ritual. My nightly ritual is my shower and my nightly bedtime routine, which comes along with not only that, I do my Ping Shui exercise, and then I also research at night before I go to bed. So they're wanting you to really put yourself into some sort of a system, some sort of a routine, and, and a, a personal ritual that you practice every single day, whatever that is for you. Okay, now with this uh, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Materials energy, Everything in your material world, Scorpio, is going to experience growth and abundance. I feel that you're working really hard, that everything that you're working towards is going to bring you abundance. It's not going uh, unnoticed. All right. Um, they're also spirit guides are wanting you to kind of organize your life a little bit. I feel for some of you are already in the process of doing this. Others, you've already got that all figured out. But for some, I feel that there's things that are kind of all over the place. You need to kind of streamline and bring a system into your life that works really good, that is efficient for you. This is where you're going to notice some of that growth come in. Okay. It's kind of like clearing your whole house out, taking inventory of everything that you have and really um, organizing everything. That is what I'm getting here with this uh, eight of materials energy. And, and this is you really focusing in and paying attention to the details of everything that you're currently doing. Read every kind of contract that you're signing in detail. Um, any kind of emails, anything that you're sending out, make sure you double check everything as you're doing it. I'm also getting that, you know, you've got the moon card. Sometimes we miss things, right? So sometimes there's things hidden that we don't see. Spirit guides are really want, that's why they're wanting you to pay attention to detail and do the best job possible because this is going to make a huge difference in your life. I feel for some of us, sometimes we're so much in a rush to see results that we miss little things throughout our uh, the process of getting things completed. And then what else I'm getting is some of your completing projects and starting brand new ones. So you have a lot on your plate. They're wanting you to ride the momentum because that's the completion period. That's usually sometimes exciting. It's it's really fast paced. You know, everything's moving very quickly. And we feel like as we're completing a few tasks, more keep 
getting thrown on our plate, things are going to slow down at the, at the beginning of this brand new chapter, at this beginning of this new project. But ride the momentum of this because this is a fun place to be, even though it doesn't feel fun in the moment. I feel that this is going to be something that you're going to be celebrating. Okay, so you're not completely at the end of the cycle. You're almost there, but I feel there's a lot going on. You're juggling quite a bit. Some of you might be getting stressed out. There might be anxiety. You're not sleeping. This is where spirit guides really want you to focus in on self-care and taking breaks in between because you are working hard. And they're really wanting you to devote yourself to this place and really come to a place where you understand that the more love, care, and attention and nurture you put into this place that you're trying to grow, the more you're going to see uh, the fruits of your labor. And look at all of this fruit coming in. I feel that some of you are going to be like, oh my God, I don't even know how to manage all of this money that's coming in, all of this abundance. Like, I've got to streamline it. I got to figure out the semantics of how this is working, where this is all going. It's all about organization. And I feel for others, you're working really hard to actually create something in your life. It's all about like building a website, getting a funnel for your emails, setting up your email system, getting a YouTube channel up, getting your social media. That's a lot of stuff on your plate here. So this is kind of what I'm seeing some of you going through this process of juggling many things. You're kind of trying to make your life work. You're trying to make a project work or you're taking on more responsibilities at work, which in turn is going to favor you because I feel people are going to notice, especially the higher ups. And this is where you're going to be promoted because I'm getting the six of wands energy here where you're going to be recognized for your hard work. In return, you're going to receive a lot of abundance, a lot of rewards from that hard work okay and looking through a different lens some of you might be juggling a lot of things you know you're trying to figure things out right you're trying to figure out what's going to work what's not going to work i feel you're going to get this insight because as you're going about things maybe things aren't working that chaos energy is so turbulent as you're going through this uh aid of materials process that all of a sudden you're going to realize, okay, if I look through a different lens for a second and see what, it's almost like looking through an eagle's eye view, looking at the whole picture rather than tunnel vision, rather than being narrow minded. Um, you're going to see things a little bit more clearly, but in a different way, which might feel uncomfortable at first, but know that you're going to, you're going to notice and see things and be like, okay, I understand now how I have to do this. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this card. I also feel for some of you, you're starting to see your life a little bit differently. You're starting to see the world a little differently because of all the things that are going on in the world and not focusing your attention there. I feel that, yes, life sometimes can be uncomfortable. The world is going through some crazy stuff. I try not to pay attention to it. I'm focused in on my own life. I try not to. I feel there's a lot of fear mongering. I fear that feel there's a lot of world things going on on the internet rather than in real life yes we're feeling the effects of things but i feel they're just kind of i don't know i have my own opinion on what's happening with the world we're not going to talk about that but i feel just looking through this different lens at your life okay that things aren't as they seem so and really putting yourself in a place where you're not focusing in on some of that stuff you have to really create some healthy boundaries especially if you're online watching a lot of the stuff that's going on, it's time to not pay attention to some of that fear monger things. I also feel that for many of you, you're going to start looking in different, different places for answers, different, different places to make things work for you. This is the moon card. Maybe there's something that you're trying to find. Maybe you literally lost something and you're trying to find it. You're going to find it. But what I'm getting here is like with the hangman and the moon card, it's it's like as if someone actually put you upside down it's super uncomfortable but you're seeing things in a different light and you know maybe you're 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 at a loss somewhere and you know you're you're making progress at one point and then all of a sudden things are halted and you're trying to figure out what that was that halted you what kind of created this pause or lull in your life, in your project, in your business, at work, whatever this is, you're kind of trying to get some answers around that. Um, those are going to come to light here. And I feel it's not going to be as bad as you think it is. It's a little teeny adjustment that you have to make, a little edit, and everything will start moving along quickly again, uh, efficiently. Now, what else am I getting here? I'm, I'm feeling like there's something else coming through. Um, with this hangman card, spirit guides really want you to focus in here, Scorpios, on 
letting go of some of the things that aren't working for you because as you're working hard, I feel for some of you, you're on autopilot and you're doing things that maybe you did in your work environment um, previously, especially those of you that have broke free from that nine to five and you're building your own business. Or if you got a new job or if you're trying to level up in your career, they're wanting you to let go of some of the old patterns that you had from previous jobs or from your previous pro programming, like your education, all that stuff that you learned over time in your life experience. They're wanting you to really look at things a little bit differently and be open to some of the other ways of doing things. Be open to criticism and talking to people and seeing if you can shift things a little bit in your life because I feel there's going to be, this is where the edits and the, the adjustments are going to help you by letting go of the old system and bringing in a brand new system for yourself. And this brand new system that you bring in is going to be more refreshed for you because if you're in a regular routine that you've been doing for say 10, 20 years, I feel it needs to be refreshed. Okay. And the moon card, lots of magic, lots of mystery, lots of things unfolding in your lives. I feel for some of you are going to get into this beautiful routine, this uh, ritual, uh, some of your practice magic this is what I'm getting here and manifestation all of that this is going to come into fruition for you as well you're manifest you're actually manifesting your dreams this is you uh, working hard because when you're manifesting when you have that clear vision and then you have that seed of opportunity that seed that you're meant to plant this is what you're doing you're nurturing it putting all your care and attention to it and you're seeing it grow and that's the manifestation part. And I feel a lot of you are using magic and uh, some sort of you're sacrificing things like good sacrifices. This comes in as well with the letting go. Sacrificing is letting go of things that don't serve your higher purpose. This is like addictions, alcohol, uh, bad habits, negative ways of thinking. So I feel there's a lot of intensity around this. Maybe that there's something that you're doing specifically in order to kind of create this uh, life for yourself okay so I'm getting this very strongly here for some of you and um, what else am I seeing here through all of this some hidden truths are going to come in for some of you as well I feel that there's um, what I'm getting with this card is maybe you're working with people where um, that stagnant slow energy some of you are experiencing not all of you might be due to somebody in your life and you know, seeing them through a different, like hidden truths are going to be revealed. Lots of things are going to be revealed to you because you've got the moon card and the hangman. So lots of different things kind of being exposed, hidden truths, all of that coming to light. And all of these things for you, Scorpio, are going to really impact your life in a big way. And spirit guides want you to keep your focus on your your success and your growth not to worry about some of these things especially if they're negative right because i feel some of these don't directly impact you and some are just things that you hear from gossipers or rumors or online about the world and things like that um, but they're really wanting you to shift your mindset and really focus in on the things that you are working towards those distractions need to be let go so this is kind of what i'm feeling here for some of you out there okay i'm now going to pull an oracle card for you this is your bonus card and i'm using this uh, oracle deck called the earth moon and shadow oracle i bought this on etsy and i'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook okay yeah i feel there's lots of different things going on just stay focused on your work scorpio don't worry about what other people are doing don't worry about what other people are saying work in silence i feel this is going to be your superpower is working in silence and not sharing too much all right don't share too much with others all right, we're getting the spring rain, cleansing, renewal, and metamorphosis. So I feel that you are going through this process. There's that letting go and shedding, sacrifices being made, things that are going to come to light, which are not going to feel good, right? I feel that some of you have, you're in that cocoon phase. Others have already broken out and become a butterfly, but I feel for some of you, you're in that like icky, gooey, uncomfortable cocoon phase of transforming. All right, so let me read you this interpretation from the guidebook. So spring rain. Here we are, spring rain. I didn't even have to look too hard for this page. So just as the darkness of winter brings out internal exploration and rest, spring rain brings with it renewal and reawakening. The element of water has a history steeped in spiritual symbolism. Water is often associated with purification and cleansing.
When combined with spring's common association of rebirth and, re and growth, spring rain becomes a powerful message from the universe. As the rain falls upon our consciousness, we are awakened from our dark winter trance and called back into the light. All the work we've done in the dark months has given us the strength and spiritual nourishment we need to grow. When spring rain falls into a reading, it is time for us to step back outside of ourselves and put into practice all the lessons and knowledge gained during our incubation. The stone-like cocoon that is so lovingly protected, protected our delicate transformation over these last few months must now be shattered as the remnants of winter crumble from our flesh in an avalanche of flesh and bone. As intimidating as this feat as this feat may appear, it is imperative to note that without this brief period of struggle and discomfort, we would not build the strength and perseverance required to then spread our wings and fly. So look at this. Some of you are going through a metamorphosis right now, and you're kind of working hard towards something, and you're going to see the, re the results of those that hard work, the rewards of that hard work soon. So you're in this incubation period, some of you. All right. So that is your message through this Oracle deck. I'm now going to pull an angel number for you and see what we get. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to be your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right. So let's see what we get here for you. Number 24, I am generous. So if you've been seeing two fours, twos and fours, this is your confirmation. You, Scorpio, are generous. Let me read this to you. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer, protector, and provider all at once. Look at you go, Scorpio. I feel a lot of you are really, really kind, and sometimes people misinterpret you. I have a brother that's a Scorpio. I have lots of friends that I know that are Scorpios, and I feel some of them feel that they're misinterpreted because they're so passionate about everything that um, that passion can go up and down all over the place. Not all over the place. It's really good. It's like this fierce, beautiful energy. And you are the most generous people I know. So way to go, my friends. You, Scorpio, are generous. I love your energy. I love everything about you. And I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you so much for watching. If this reading resonates for you, please comment below. Hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wish you all a beautiful day. And thank you so much for watching.